started. Um, quick introduction, I'm Barbara Landsberg, I'm on the conference team from Spectronics and um, we've been looking forward to this day for a long time and it's really it's kind of surreal to see it actually happening. To have, but, and congratulations on securing a place in this workshop, we could have filled it three times over. So, yeah, so it was great to have you here and I'm really looking forward to the day ahead. Aptastic, delivered to you by a really fantastic team of international and Australian presenters. And they'll be in, in order of appearance, not in order of importance, sorry, Greg. Greg Olchen, Jim Sprialis from South Australia, David Woodbridge from New South Wales, Michael Harrison also from New South Wales and Jeanette Davies, Mark Coppin over from the US, and Dawn Hallett uh, from Western Australia. So just to give you a little bit of an introduction to your presenters, um, Greg is officially a teacher and collaborative learning technologies officer um, with the Rural and Distance Ed Unit in uh, Orange, and also one of the Apple Distinguished Educators um, at, of the, two, the, the group of many of them supporting the um, iPads in education across Australia. The other cool thing about Greg, for his 50th birthday, I don't know anyone else who had a cake that looked <laughs> just like this. We're talking Apple fanboy on speed. Today, Greg will be starting off with a tour of the Apple ecosystem and learning how to leverage discoverability built into the App Store and all of the Apple environment, iTunes, U, iBooks. And, and he also is very much a, a supporter of universal design for learning and accessible and accessibility in all materials for students of different, different learning styles. Then he'll be followed up by Jim Sprialis, who'll be looking at um, the accessibility features built into the, the iOS. And Jim's uh, for a long time been based at, the, at CIRU, the Special Ed and Resource Unit in Adelaide. Uh, he's a teacher originally, and he's one of the Apple Accessibility Ambassadors. And Jim is, um, Jim's been around assistive tech, inclusive learning tech, whatever you want to call it, tech, for years. And he's really a, a fantastic influencer of uh, technologies in South Australia. And it, the contingent from South Australia this time is, um, is incredible. Sorry, I don't know what's going on here. And a, a lot of that is to do with Jim. The other thing we love about Jim is that we, oh, now we've lost it. We've lost projection. Okay. The joys of the wireless. Just finishing off a little chat about um, Jim Sprialis. Nothing can rattle this man. He's super cool, always calm, and we just in-house refer to him as the Dalai Lama of assistive technology. Um. Yeah, um, yeah. David Woodbridge will be following up, and David is a tech consultant at Vision Australia, um, social worker in a former life as well, adding to his um, kit of skills and f falls under the umbrella, umbrella of the Apple Accessibility Ambassador. David also is very much an Apple fanboy. He's, um, he's got the latest and greatest of everything in, the, in all things Apple, so it's great to have him here. And he will be presenting on apps for people with vision impairments and those who are blind. And being blind himself, he drives all of his technology using these tools that he'll be showing to you. Following up David, we have uh, Michael Harrison, itinerant support teacher, hearing impairment, uh, also based in Orange. He also has a, an interesting background of um, having been a, a secondary school music teacher as well, and he's one of the ADEs. And in fact, we're using Michael's skills in the closing session of the conference. We're actually, we'll be talking about this tomorrow, but he's been great in um, helping out with being one of the band leaders and he is in the band that will be going head to head. We've got a Real Things band, you'll find out the names tomorrow, and we've got an I Things band. And Michael is uh, heading up the uh, I Things band team. So we're looking forward to see what they come up with on stage on Friday. 
Jeanette Davies um, is within uh, Catholic Ed. Is Jeanette here? Not yet. She's um, in Catholic Ed in Wollongong and manages a lot of the library services um, through there. And here she is. <laughs> come on down. Yeah, come on down. And so we refer to um, Jeanette as our, as our I mum because she's, she's right across all things Apple. And I think she, she tells the story where she was the only person in the room at the original Spectronics conference where she was the only one driving a Mac. And um, so she keeps poking me in the ribs about that one going, where, where are we now, Barbara? <laughs> so, so, yeah, Jeanette uh, will be looking at um, the EPUB platform for EPUB books, iBooks author, and also management of digital books within a school library system, which is a question we're asked a lot. And now to Mark Coppen, who's the Director of Assistive Technology at a, a centre, um, Anne Carson Centre in North Dakota. Uh, Mark is, we're very lucky to have Mark here. He's, he does a lot of the iPad webinars for the Closing the Gap team. He's been travelling the US constantly uh, before he came out here and he had, has had a couple of relaxing days in Australia, but we're really happy to have him here. And some of the, the cool things about Mark, he's, he's travelled around and done some very cool things and over Thanksgiving time last year, he was actually in Turkey visiting uh, people with disabilities and advising on technologies. And these guys will tell you more about themselves as they go along. But I like the headline that um, uh, one of the local papers where they were saying that Mark Coppin spending Turkey Day in Turkey. I thought that was pretty cute. <laughs> and Dawn Hallett will be fin finishing up the day looking at um, the Moringa Park project of which she, is, she was the... Um, the iPad coach at Warringah Park School in Victoria, one of the first to roll out one-to-one -one iPads for students with, with um, special needs in a special ed setting. And that, that, um, has, that project has been in progress for, uh, since 2009, I think. Yeah, so that was the original iPad. Uh, it couldn't be 2009, 2010 was when the iPad came out. Yeah. It was actually released on the last day of our conference last time. So, yeah, so that this, she'll be able to fill you in on real world applications of uh, one to one with the iPad in special ed classrooms. But just again, welcome, really sincere welcome to you all. And just to let you know, everyone will be presenting off their iPads, doing this wirelessly through the Apple TV. So, uh, if you want to know how that works, these guys are the best to ask about that. Over to you, Greg. Steal it. <laughs> on the etiquette of turning Barbara off. T on the etiquette of turning Barbara off. So... Automatically reboots, do you? I think, Barbara, is that right? Okay. Folks, uh, just a hands up first off. Let me see. Speechies, be loud and proud, come on. Um, OTs, teachers, parents. Have I forgot any other group? Who? Oh the, oh, the NDCOs, those guys, Tim. Don't tell me Kay's with you too, is she? Hi, Kay. Don't forget the good old NDCOs. So, folks, we've got a broad range of people here today. Now, part of what I'm going to do, once I know that my picture comes up on the screen, and guys, yep, here it comes. <laughs> we've got audio, but no video. Houston. Can I have an airplay specialist here for me? All right. Just two seconds, guys. Otherwise, we might have to go back to our manual system. We were testing before. I'm going to blame Barbara, only because I think she's left the, she left the room as I'm talking. OK, mirroring is on. Let's... Beauty. That was not Barbara. I have to apologise to dear Barbara. Crikey. 
All righty, let's get started again. My apologies. Okay, from Life of Brian. Now, yes, we are all individuals. Now, not only are we speeches, OTs, mums, dads, even NDCOs, all at teachers and everything else. Yes, we are all excited about all this technology that we're going to show you today. But one of the things that we have to remember and wrap it around is why we are here. And it's about supporting kids supporting adults. It's about making people expert learners. We want to go from being a novice learner to an expert learner so that they can participate in the world. So before I show you a few things about apps, what do I want oh, to do? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is show you a few things and give us a little bit of a framework. Now, as my friends know, I find curb cuts sexy. Now, some people think I'm a little bit weird thinking that curb cuts are sexy. And you go, what's this got to do with iPads? Actually, a lot. Now, think, folks, curb cuts are cool. Why? Very simply, that one simple, powerful design empowered a lot of people. It gave access not only to people with a physical disability, but it helped you if you had a shopping trolley, if you had a stroller, whether you were drunk and couldn't get your foot up on the footpath. There's a whole reason let alone the skateboarders, we all benefit from good universal design. 